What's up guys? Welcome back to Duty's Daggers. Today was one of those days where I rushed home from work, jumped in the shower, took a lightning fast shower, dried off, turned on the camera, sat down, and here we are because I'm super excited for this one. This is something that I used to own, um, sold, because uh, I had to. Um, it was one of those things where uh, I had to sell something to get something that I wanted even more. Even though I really liked that one thing that I had to get rid of, I knew that I could get one again eventually, um, which was the plan all along. You know, I let go of it knowing that I would eventually get another one, and today's the day. I finally get another one. Not exactly the same one, but the same one. You'll see. So, let's get into it. What are these? I want to show my address on the paperwork here. Okay. All right, there we go. Bought it from E Knives. Oh yeah. Always love when you get candy and stickers. There she is. You guys probably recognize that. McNeese. Oh yes, baby. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Plain Jane, atomic stone washed finish, smooth. Gen 2, so we have all the, you know, quality of life upgrades that have come with the version 2 of the Mac 2. Let's give her a flick. Whoopsie. Yeah. Oh yeah, okay, I thought the detent was like super light at first, but I actually just, I, I, I fucked up. It's actually not. Oops. Okay, yeah. Just needs a second. Oh yeah, okay, now, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Just needs a second to break in here. Oh yeah, that's the McNeese that I know and love. Um, that's a change. There's an F right there. For flat grind. Um, honestly, it feels pretty similar to my other one that was a hollow grind. Um, the hollow grinds that they do are not very deep at all, and you can almost not even really tell sometimes. Um, so, you know, whatever. Uh, but this one is a flat grind in Magna Cut, USA made. I love that they put the flag there with the USA underneath it. So the differences are well, there's a couple things. The, uh, the Gen 1, these screws just threaded right into threaded holes in this scale. But now they have how it normally is on knives with, you know, four screws total that both thread into these spacers. Um, that's something that, um, I, personally, I didn't really mind how it was. But um, I, I can see how possibly if you mess up putting the screw in and you strip out one of the holes, then you kind of ruin a whole scale instead of just ruining the barrel spacer, you know. Um, which, it won't happen if, if you're careful, but, I, you know, whatever. I, I get that people would want it different. Um, what other changes were there? There were a couple of others, right? Now I can't really remember what they were. Something with the clip, maybe? I don't know. I can't remember. Um, let's see. I think the detent is lighter than my last one. It's still not super light. It's still, I mean, yeah, that's still really nice. I might bend the lock bar in slightly just to see what happens. Um, but I don't really feel like it's super necessary. I mean, look how smooth that is, man. And actually, this doesn't hurt my thumb like my last one. The, the detent was so stiff on my last one that if I put some pressure on this lock bar by accident and I went to flick it, it would wrench the crap out of my thumb. You guys know that feeling. So this, um, now that I flick it more, I think I'm just going to leave it. This is actually perfect. Reliably flick this out. Even if you're putting a little pressure on the lock bar. Yep, I'm leaving it. That's perfect. 
Plain Jane, baby. Gonna get some snail trails on this thing. This will more than likely never leave the collection. Um, you know, M McNeese is one of those that uh, has really become iconic in the knife community, you know? Really super fucking iconic. I've said fuck twice in this video. Usually I don't. I'm just excited, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably never sell this one. So it's going to be a user. Let's do some measurements. You know, the, the last one, the last uh, knife that I owned, the version 1 in the jigged tie and the hollow grind, had a pretty thin measurement behind the edge and then got really thick up here, which you can tell looking at the spine, I mean, that that is a really thick tip. This is a hard working knife right here. Um, so let's see what we got behind the edge here. Okay, yeah, it's thick, but it's not crazy thick. We got uh, 17 thousandths, 17 thousandths, 17 thousandths, up to 19 thousandths, and the very tip it goes all the way to 31 thousandths. Um, it actually stays thin kind of farther up here than I thought. It stays like around, you know, 17 to 20, all the way up until like right there. Right there. And then we start getting really thick. So this thing should slice, you know? It's not going to be as slicey as something with super thin blade stock, obviously, but this is a heavy duty working knife. Blade stock's 149 thousandths. Um, this, is a, this is a beater. This is a indestructible knife. You will never break that tip off, ever. Ergonomics, amazing. Uh, yeah. This knife's ready to put in some work. So there we go, folks. So, so happy. I'm gonna be carrying this one a lot this week. Um, I did do a cut test with my last one, but maybe we'll do another one. Maybe, I don't know. I guess I don't really need to. Oh wow, it's, oh sheesh. That is really sharp. Really, really sharp, dang. That's very sharp, cool, very cool. Well, there you have it, folks. The Mac 2 Gen 2. Smooth tie. What do they call it? I think they call it like um, smooth, uh, smooth, uh, smooth atomic stonewash or something like that. I just call it a plain Jane. You know. There we go. Thanks for watching, folks. I love you. Like the video, please. Make sure you're subscribed. I'd appreciate it a lot. See you soon.